incident scared me so bad that God protected me that night for my future. He knew one day he would use me, but he knew it wasn't then, but he protected me that night. I, 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 I don't know why and, and why he's brought me to this point where I am. And, and there's other instances in my life where a certain death could have, a, could have occurred of the things that I've done in my life. And he's brought me here to, to such a time as this. To, to use me for something. I, I, I don't know what it is yet. Be the head elder of New Smart East Church, I, I think it, it, it goes deeper than that. You know, uh, but I, I feel like he, he's, uh, he's, he's been pounding on me with that, hand, with that hammer for, or hit the anvil and I, you know, for, for quite a while. And he's brought me here for, some, for such a time as this. I, I, I just wondered, you know, does everybody else have a, a, a feeling like God's working on them? I might, I might say to that, Ricky, that a person who does not know God would say that he was lucky. But you were blessed. Oh, yeah. Because right. you know God. Right. I didn't back then. It was like, you know, I just figured, okay, it's my lucky day. God, yeah. God knew that someday you would realize it. Yeah, because I, 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 everybody's going through these experiences. I mean, uh, Margaret swam with piranhas. Uh, we all have this thing that we, we each have where God has brought us down this path to this point in our lives. It's like, wow. I really don't have a, 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 a good ending to the story. I mean, it's not done. You know, God's still working on each one of us. So. You know, all of us have a story to tell. Every one of us. We have a story to tell. That's just, that's just one facet of one story. You know, right. there's many stories. Yeah. When we look back to the parts of our lives and uh, we see all the incidents that have transpired during the course of our life, um, sometimes when we go through the crisis, we are in the crucible, we don't understand. Amen. It's only when we get over and we look back and we begin to wonder, how did I get over? <laughs> yeah. It's only God's doing. Yeah. And uh, it's amazing that how we, how we make promises. And even though we mess up, God knows that we will fail. Uh, I read a passage where Jesus gave the disciples power over demons and uh, to heal the sick and even to raise the dead. But, but he knew that even Judas Receive that power, and he knew that Judas would betray him. He knew that Judas was a thief. He knew that Peter would deny him. He knew that, that the temper of James and John. He knew that Thomas, uh, he didn't even believe his own mama. He knew that all the disciples would forsake him and leave, yet he gave them power. God looking down through the corridor, corridors of time, he knows that some of us are gonna, we're going to fail him, yet he loves us. But in the final analysis, when all is said and done, he wants us in the kingdom. He loves us not because of what we do, but because of what he has done for us. And he wants to save us. He wants us to be with him, regardless of, despite of ourselves. Because he first loved us while we were running away from him. He is the one who creates change in us. Leave us to ourselves, we will never change. The devil has no problem with us giving our hearts to Jesus. All he's saying to us is not today. Amen. And, and for some people, tomorrow never comes. Right. That's why Christ is today, right now. Because tomorrow is not promise. He wants to create change in us. Faith is not something we build overnight. Amen. Amen. If we are faithful now, we will be faithful then. And what the world is facing, friend of mine, is nothing compared to what is to come. Amen. Because there is no preparation we can make for the crisis that is coming. You know, if, if Daniel did not get a victory over the lion, he did. If 
David hadn't gotten the victory over the lion and the bear, there was no way he could have faced the giant. Amen. 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 So, so with you saying that, let me butt in. How do, how do we encourage the brethren? Look, I mean, we're just a skeleton crew here today. You know, the people are fearful. So how do we how do we go forward encouraging the brethren and um, you know giving people hope? Remaining faithful yourself. And, yeah. You, you, you gotta speak words of encouragement. Words of enthusiasm. You gotta be optimistic. You can't speak words of discouragement and denial and, and feel like giving up. You gotta have a you gotta have a bright outlook in life, regardless of what's going on around us. Um, we gotta be faithful. We gotta be positive. I remember uh, a man going to the to the library one day and he was looking for a book in the shelf. And frantically he was searching. And the, li the, li the librarian recognized that uh, he was getting frustrated. So she, so she approached him and, and uh, said, oh, what are you looking for? He said, I'm looking for the book that is entitled um, Jesus Now and Then. She said, man, you, you won't find a book. You're looking for the wrong book. The, the, the title of the book is Jesus Then and Now. you got to get it right. Is Jesus then and now? Not Jesus now and then. <laughs> Amen? Amen. You've got to have Jesus all the time. So, so you just answered the question then. So the people, I think, need to, to go on a media fast and stay away from all this bad stuff. It's just they're filling their minds with fear. They need to fill their minds with the Lord Jesus. Exactly. No, no. If I would, if you would permit me to say, to say this, my wife sent me um, a tape. Uh, is this on the tape? Uh, what I'm going to say? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Pause. Yeah. You want to pause it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, right.